So guys, if you're new to the channel and if you love basketball content just like this, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel. Guys, if you leave a like, it tells YouTube that you guys are actually enjoying these videos and it's free. So you might as well, guys, it will help the channel out in so many ways. You guys have no idea. So if you can just take the time to leave a like, it will help me out a ton. And with all that being said, I just have one simple question for everybody out there that's watching this video. Guys, is this man Bronny James, is this man Bronny James officially, officially solidified as a shooter? I'm not gonna lie, bro. This man Bronny James may be giving Bryce James a run for his money on of who's actually the best shooter in the James family. Anything Bronny related, just comment down below and let's get a great basketball conversation started. Bronny James had one weekend in AU tournament to remember. In this video, we're gonna be talking about all that, breaking down Bronny James and also something crazy that this man Bronny James did this past weekend while he was in Ohio. So yeah, with all that being said, guys, make sure you stick around and watch the full video, do all that fun stuff, follow me on Instagram and we're not gonna waste any more time. Let's go and get straight into this video. So guys, boom, <laughs> let's go and get straight into this video and talk about this crazy news and how Bronny played in this past weekend out there in Ohio. So guys, as y'all know, this man Bronny James went all the way out there to LeBron's home state of Ohio to play in an AU tournament. And guys, it was definitely something to remember. Now, I believe that Bronny played in about three or four games throughout the entire weekend and he played relatively decent in majority of this game his first game was against Gabe Cubs his old middle school AU teammate somebody that I feel like is underrated as well and it was definitely a game to watch Bronny finished with single digits and Gabe finished with over 20 points in that game definitely a game to remember and it was a decent start to Bronny's weekend now the next few games that Bronny did play in he definitely was kind of quiet but he did have one LeBron James crazy type of fast break dunk and it was definitely one to remember but guys boom fast forward to the main game that i want to be talking to you guys about and the most impressive game for Bronny so far in the year of 2021 now it was in his last game against an au team called the wildcat select and a four-star top underrated player named Isaac McNeely. Now guys, why was this game something special for me? And why was this something to remember for Bronny James? What made this game so impressive? Guys, we finally, we finally got to see Bronny James somewhat play aggressive and he took more than 10 shots in a game and he finished with 16 points while sinking four threes. Now, one thing that really opened my eyes about Bronny James this past weekend was that it made me beg the question, is Bronny James a shooter? Guys, if you think about it, most of Bronny's shots usually come from past the three-point line and he loves to take and attempt a bunch of these types of shots. 10 threes attempted. That says a lot if you ask me and it tells me that he has a ton of confidence in his shot to take these shots and it also means that he's definitely been working on it in the all season the fact that he was able to shoot 40 percent from the line as well to me that's honestly kind of tough and to put it in perspective steph curry averages about 40 percent from the line from the three-point line so that's just a little context i'm not saying that he's steph curry bro i'm not saying that i'm just kind of tell you guys that 40 percent really is not bad it's crazy because a lot of people think that bryce Bronny's younger brother is the shooter of the family i mean i mean lebron james did say that but even that Looks like Bronny may be giving Bryce a run for his money. I'm not gonna sit here and say that Bronny's just a straight up JJ Redick or anything like that, but I definitely love that Bronny is definitely taking more initiative and he's confident in his jumper. And like I said, that definitely says a lot. People usually say that he doesn't play with confidence and he doesn't even try to score. Shoot, I've even said it plenty of times, but as games are going by, it's starting to look like Bronny is getting somewhat aggressive, at least in this particular game. In the first game against Gabe, he barely had any type of highlights or did anything like that, but I'm glad that he definitely ended the weekend with some type of hope. Now, I also want to mention what Bronny did at the end of this game. Now, as you see here, there is about 30 seconds left on the clock. Strive for Greatness is down by one point, and Bronny James had the rock. Now, I'm not gonna lie, bro. This right here was the biggest takeaway for me from the weekend. The fact that Bronny took initiative and took matters into his own hands and attempted the shot to win the game. Guys, this almost made me cry, bro. It makes me mad because Bronny can literally do stuff like this 
throughout the entire game, but he doesn't and he plays too passive. He easily got to the basket, he got fouled, and he did what he had to do. I'm not even mad that he missed one of the shots. I'm not mad that he went one for two. I look at the intention of what he actually did and I believe that he did make the right play. Now, if he did make both free throws, that definitely would have iced the game, I'm sure, but it just wasn't the case. I wanna know what you guys actually think about Bronny at the end of the game. Did he make the right play? Do you guys like what you're seeing with Bronny? How did he play throughout the entire weekend? I wanna know what you guys think, just comment down below. Now, I also wanna quickly shout out my guy, Isaac McNeely. If you watch the game, he was the player who really iced the game for the Wildcats. The threes that this guy was hitting was mesmerizing. And after watching his game, it made me want to do even more research on his basketball game. And it's no surprise that he's playing for Virginia in the next coming season. I made a quick breakdown on my Instagram. So if you guys haven't seen that, make sure you guys go follow me at Juice Made Hoops. Guys, I'm showing so much love on all the underrated players out there. So if you like that type of content, make sure you guys follow me on Instagram at Juice Made Hoops. But guys, overall, this is what I want to see from Bronny James. I just want to see if he's playing more aggressive. This was definitely a good weekend in my opinion. We're definitely on the right track. There's never hate on no Bronny James. I just be honest. I want to see him be, you know, more aggressive and less passive. Take more initiative. You know, he may be making the right plays at times, but even then, like I said, let's just see if he's going to be playing more aggressive. We'll continue to monitor Mr. Bronny to see how he plays at the rest of the AAU season, if it's still going on, but let's see what happens. But yeah, guys, like I said, that's just my personal opinion. I want to know what you guys think about Bronny James, how he actually played in this past weekend. Was he aggressive? What are your thoughts? Just comment down below and let's get a great basketball conversation started. No matter what this man Bronny does, I still think that he needs to transfer. Amari Bailey is still on the program next season, so he may still have to take a back seat. They also have a a lot of great players on Sierra Cannon already so I'm not gonna lie bro he still needs to transfer I'm gonna keep saying that until until this man is transfer but yeah like I said that's just my personal opinion what do you guys think just comment down below and let's get a great basketball conversation started if you made it to the end I love you bro I really do you guys have no idea please leave a like guys it helps the channel you guys have no idea leave a like subscribe to the channel follow me on Instagram at juice May hoops if you guys want merch comment down below I got some heat coming for you guys you guys have no idea make sure you guys follow me on Instagram I probably said that about 10 times but hey follow me on instagram bro and yeah with all that being said guys thank you for watching and it's been another episode of juice made tv peace So guys, turn up the volume, bro. I want to give some attention to my guy, Isaac McGilley, very, very quickly because what this man did against this man, Bronny James, in front of LeBron James, guys, literally incredible. Now, for those who don't know who exactly Isaac McNeely is, he is a 6'3", 6'4", combo guard out there from Polka, West Virginia. And guys, when I tell you this man is the definition, the straight up definition of a shooter, shooter, hooper, hooper, who can literally shoot it off the dribble, off the catch, off screens, guys, anything all the above, this guy can literally do it all and i'm not gonna lie bro he may be looking like a little clay thompson out there isaac did have the opportunity to go toe to toe against mr Bronny james himself and he finished the game with 20 points while also dropping three threes in overtime guys after this game i actually got a chance to watch a ton of more footage of isaac and guys i'm telling you there's a reason why this guy has a ton of offers from a ton of schools and he's already signed to play at virginia next season next year when you're watching this man play in the ncaa march madness tournament guys remember juice man who started talking about this man first